What's up guys? I'm John the Potter, welcome back to another pottery video. So good to have you in the studio today. What are we talking about today? We're talking about handles. So you guys just saw a little bit of me extruding. So that's us using the Brent extruder. And there are so many different ways to make handles. I made a video last year about five different ways to make handles. You can pull them, you can use a slab, you can use a coil. Uh, there's tons of different ways to make handles. And there's so many different potters use different ways to make handles. So this video is gonna be mostly about like how to attach handles what I'm thinking about when I'm putting handles on. And so there's a few tips and tricks. So I hope that you pick up just a few little tips and tricks to help with your handle making and your handle attaching. So these mugs we threw yesterday. We threw them yesterday morning. And that's one of the most common questions I get is like, when do you actually put your handles on the mugs? Basically, I threw these yesterday morning, they sat out all day, then I covered them in plastic, and then I opened them back up today and let them dry a little more. So now they're at a perfect point. Basically, you just want them to be hard enough that you can handle them without like worrying too much. Like that I push on it a little bit and it won't move. So you wanna be able to handle it, but you also need it to be still wet enough so that the handles will stick onto there because if, the mug gets too dry and you try and attach a wet piece of clay, then it won't work, it'll crack back off. So whenever you're attaching two different pieces of clay, you wanna make sure that the clay, the piece that you're attaching and whatever you're attaching are of similar consistency. You wanna make sure that one is not super dry and one is not super wet. So, you guys ready for this? Let's do it. All right, so this is gonna take us a couple hours to do. So first thing is you have to score so we score like right around here, if you can see that, and then right around here, because that I know is gonna be around the same size to attach like that, right? So that's the first step. This is scored, these are scored, and then you need to use slip. So slip is basically like the glue that attaches clay together. With the scoring technique, you're just creating these grooves for this clay to get into, and then you're doing it on this side too, and then they'll just get locked. They just get locked together. If you think about scratching up that clay so that you're creating grooves to open up so that they can just like connect to each other. And oftentimes when I have handles break, they don't break off where they were connected because that's that bond is just as strong as clay to clay, but they break like up in a different area. So don't worry, I'm gonna get close-ups of all this so you can see what I'm doing. But that is basically what I do. So I extrude the clay out of the extruder, lay them out into pieces like this, cut them into the size I want, boom, donezo. And then I'll go back and just make sure everything is nice and smooth, and there's one. So normally what I would do is get all the handles ready, I would get all the mugs ready and scored, and then I would just bang it out. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna do like one at a time so I can show you. So let's do it. So I'm using a kiln post as my measurement, and this is a good one for a bigger mug. So these are kind of gonna be those, those bigger 20 large mugs, 20 ounce large mugs. And then these smaller mugs, I'll probably want to make slightly smaller than that. So if you can see, I'm scoring this side, and then I flip it over and score this side, so that when I go like this, it's scored here, and it's scored here. Ready for the mug action. We're gonna score right there, and we'll score down there. So then that's ready for the handle. So we have our handle right there. I'm gonna score there, flip it over, score down there. And then, probably one of the most important things for me is this turn right here. So I wanna make sure that I'm applying pressure from up here and holding this in place down here so that we get like a nice curve like this. I've taught quite a few people to make handles like for, to help me make mugs. And when people first start, they take a piece like this and they just like kind of turn it like that, right? And that's, I want, I don't like how it's more of like a 90 degree or like, I guess that would be 90 degrees, but like, I don't like having it be a bend. I having it, I, I really like having it be a flow. So then we take our slip, 
which the slip is right there. I'm gonna put a little bit of slip on there. Put a little bit of slip on there. Slippy, slippy. Slip, slip, slippy. And then we just put that right on there, right on the bottom. And then I take my finger, which I'll usually like just dip my finger. I just dip my finger in the slip to get it a little bit wet, just so that it slides right there. And then I just blend it in right there. Blend it in from here. And what I am thinking about when I'm blending this in is if you think about like a tree branch that grows out of a tree, I know that sounds kind of weird, but that's literally kind of what I want it to look like, is like that it just is growing out of the mug. I don't want to look, I don't want it to look like this mug had an attachment put on. I want it to look like this handle grew out of the mug. So that's what I'm thinking about when I am making my handles. Now, again, there's so many different ways to make handles. If you wanted to shape your handle, I mean, if we take this handle, if you wanted to shape your handle like this and stick it on, that's a great handle. If you wanted to have it be like the opposite of me where like I have the bigger end on the top, you could do it on the bottom. So the bigger end's on the bottom. You can curl one end like that and have it have like a little curl. You can, there's just so many different ways to do it. So many different ways to make handles. Got the idea? All right, let's get working. We got like 10 handles put on. And I was just thinking about, I wanna encourage you to like, as you use mugs that you like, think about the handle. Think about what makes you like the handle. So like this one, you can fit your whole hand in and around, right? Fit four fingers in there. It's kind of like almost like a beer stein or something. And then this one, you know, is more like a two finger. You can really only fit two fingers in there. Maybe one finger. Do you wanna be able to fit one? Do you wanna fit two? The aesthetic of the mug or the handle should really reflect the size of the mug. So I even think this handle's a little small for this size. Whereas I feel like this is a good size for this one, especially like if you like that. Mine tend to be mostly like one finger, two finger. That's just kind of what I like. And that's the ones that I find I like using. The ones that are bigger, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's necessary. So, so yeah, the handle, don't, you know, don't try and replicate what I do. I'm just telling you so that you can get one idea. Maybe like this will spark something like, oh, I could do this with a handle. Get creative with the handles. All right, friends, that's how we do some handles right there. We got all the handles done and finished and so now these will dry. We'll put them in the kiln, bisque, fire them. They'll come out, we'll glaze them, then we'll put them back in the kiln and they'll come out and then they'll be done. Oh yeah, I'd love to hear from you. What makes the handles that you like or dislike, what makes them good or bad? I'd love to hear in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you thought about my style of making handles versus if you have a style or if you've seen a style done. All right, now we're gonna go eat some dinner. If you haven't already, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Shout out to all the patrons on Patreon for supporting us over there. Uh, we got some pots that we're gonna put up in a couple weeks. Subscribe, like, comment, share, all the things. We'll see you guys in the next video. Shh.